Hi, I'm Vitas. Um, hello, I'm John, and we are new talent residents at the Pervasive Media Studio. <laughs> <laughs> the project is a, um, it's three objects that each kind of discuss different facets of social media. One of them is exploring Facebook's last seen feature. Another object is exploring Tinder's location algorithm. And the last one's exploring Instagram story feature. It's generally like the weird and the wonderful stories that we've kind of been hearing that kind of sparked off the project to begin with. Like all these interactions and like things that happen to people from using these sort of platforms. And we kind of just get engrossed in it. We kind of use it on our smartphones. We don't really think about much of what it means, like mm. why we're using it. Jesu and Eugene started dating during the master's course they were on. Eventually Jesu was forced to move back to Korea as her visa had run out. She was counting on moving back, and the two maintained a long-distance relationship. Jesu was looking for jobs and getting quite bored. In the meantime, Eugene was swamped trying to prove himself in a new company. Jesu would want to talk to Eugene for hours, asking for advice and moral support. She would check when Eugene was last seen on Facebook. She would know Eugene's daily habits, and would try to reach him as soon as he went online. Eugene would now avoid being last seen. He would prefer to preview messages in the notifications bar. Eugene would only reply to his other friends' messages when he was ready to be last seen by Jesu. It was quite hard for us to explain the project. And by being here, and like interacting with the other two groups that are part of the residency, we were able to like frame it in a more simplified way by looking at their approaches, looking at this idea of storytelling and framing the project in that way. So each free algorithms of each uh, sort of social media network are trapped within the domestic objects of the 20th century. So one is a TV, the other one is a radio unit, and then the third one is an alarm clock, which prevents the user from directly interacting with the social media network, but creates a moment of uh, self-observation. So by using the object, you can actually sort of think about what and why you are doing when you're interacting with a particular social media network. It's kind of interesting to observe how these rather primitive technologies, you know, once you start desegmenting these algorithms, they're basically chunks of binary code, you know, ones and zeros of uh, very simplistic, uh, yeah code that kind of determines the way we actually fall in love or, or, or you know, or uh, keep track of people or, or sort of keep in touch. After this stage, we kind of want to refine the objects a bit more, make them like solid and more aesthetic. We are thinking of deploying them into or sending them to different people's homes and letting them live with the object for a month or so and kind of like seeing where it goes from there. We're hoping to run the research but also democratize in a way the, the, the artworks we are mm. producing by just sending them uh, out to people and instead of making them live in the gallery space. And then the next step is we're kind of also wanting to bring it to a more sort of academic space and uh, run workshops. So workshops uh, which would either consider the conceptual framework of the projects and think about alternatives for social media networks or maybe develop new objects that would question other parts yeah. of social media that we didn't consider in this uh, part of the project. So it's a kind of, we, we're hoping that this thing will become like a very scalable sort of uh, endeavor yeah. that would just go on and on and on and on forever. <laughs>